What's up guys, it's Dr. GTA coming to you with an exciting video today for the OpenIV team and it's the 2.6.4 integration with open formats for audio containers containing AWC and OAC files and you can edit them. We're going to break it down right now and show you how to edit the audio files. If you want those nice Crown Vic sounds, you want those nice sirens in your game, we're going to show you the directory and everything. So hit like on this video and don't forget to subscribe because I upload tech tips, daily GTA 5 content, mods, funny gameplays, and other weird things about GTA 5. With that said, we'll go ahead and get into the video. First off, you're going to obviously need OpenIV installed and running in your game. Um, it's basically working. I'm not sure if you want to use this with LSPDFR, but I recommend using it with Police Mod um, 1.0 C Revision 6 or whatever revision it is now because it is more stable and it is a little bit more fun at this time um, just because it works with these script mods like OpenIV and recommend you go to Tools ASI and install the two containers for the script mod um, in order to get this working. And then from there, you obviously need to install scripthookv.net and uh, the D input 8.dll which you need the online bypasses and I'll link those in the description just comment below this video if you have any questions if you need any help or if you need the links for this and with that said we'll go ahead and get into the video and up show you what they've updated the implement feature as well as editing as well as viewing and listening to audio sounds in x64 any sound you want to find is going to be an x64 audio and you got to go to the um, SFX and then you can go to ambient or whatever you need to pretty much everything in the game is right here um, everything, literally everything. Resident is where we're going to go right now because that's where we're going to find the audio for the sirens, which is in the vehicle's AWC. Um, if you notice, there's a whole bunch of different files. You can be like, God, how do I find these? You know, well, you're, I recommend you when we get, well, hopefully someone's coming out with an AWC editing container, which you right click and all you have to do is export it to OAC and export to your folder. And that's going to be what you edit. And then you open up the other program and you can edit this OAC file, but you can't do that at this point because um, there's no editor. But one thing I do want to say, uh, let's see, there's vehicles. Here's all the files right here for the OAC container. I'm not sure if you can just rename it, but that'd be cool if you could actually just go in and find your file name. Um, but yeah, say so if you want to find the file that you're looking for and uh, you're looking for it, sorry for the loudness, you're going to basically find the sirens in the seven second range it's not going to be no one second range. It's going to be around two to three seconds. And basically they're going to be around the two to three second range. You can see there's a couple sirens right here. Six seconds. There's your sirens. And you got to remember these names because these names are what's uh, actually going to come into your head whenever you, um, you know, you're trying to find the sirens or whatever like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what it's gonna do. There's your uh, sirens. Um, yeah, and then once you find that, you're gonna edit that file accordingly and then re-import it into this program, but you can't do that at this point. Um, but that's pretty much where your sirens are at. Now we're gonna go over the location for the Crown Vic, which is gonna be at the very bottom right here, Stream Vehicles RPF. And that's pretty much where it's at. Four cylinders. It's going to be right around here. V style. And there they all. And you just got to edit them accordingly. Then re-import them. You can add it right here if you want to add the file back in. Or whatever. And that's pretty much it. And until we get an AOC, an OAC or AWC container editor, I will be updating this video. So stay tuned because I will update this video accordingly when we get one. Don't forget to install the ASI managers, have fun, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.